Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create an image preview in React and TypeScript. So here is our project setup and if I click over here and click on the image, as you can see we have the image appear above our input file. So how can we actually just make this using React and TypeScript? So by default React doesn't provide this. So how can we actually make this and this is a yeah. This is a custom uh, upload bar we have created using the React. So let's get started. So I have a basic file setup over here, and just I wanted to just uh, clear everything so that you can learn easily. So if I control A and just remove everything, and I have to create a normal function as everybody knows. return div we wanted to return a div inside div so we have nothing else right now suppose if I type hello and we have to export it why we have to export it because uh, we are going to use into our main.tsx so I have created a standard sas file over here if you didn't know sas just uh, go to the terminal and add and add sas or npm initial sas so i will be resetting the every css so that you can learn the css some concept uh, i will just remove this and this is a basic setup where i have just imported the roboto font for this project and now we just need to start working on this app.tss file so we will split this style the css in the right side so that we can easily just style our app so here we can see if i save and go to the browser we have nothing else you can see hello is here so let's start actually coding so uh, for the first time just we need a state so what is the state state we need a preview and another function state preview that should be a use state so we have to import the use state from react and it may it's close this so it is a generic so what is generic mean because we want to give a type we, we are using the type script so it should be a file or a null why it is null because for the first time it might be a null so this is we have set up so we have to create a form over here basically form is in regard but we are creating the form so inside form we just wanted to use input input type type is going to be file and let's save this and this okay as you can see this is the normal setup um, but we don't want this so we want to make uh, some styling over here so let's go to the source and style dot sas and go to the body body display of display of flex flex direction is going to be column column align item center so why align item because we are just centering vertically so justify content it is it will center from horizontal uh, center now let's save this as you can see we have here but we want to center over here so how can we do this so we will use the height of the 100 vs uh, and wide of wide of 100 percent okay as you can see we have center but we don't want this background color of white so I want a background color of BLSCK black okay C O L O R color okay now as you can see but we wanted to use the form we wanted to give some padding over the form so we can use the uh, oops uh, form inside form we want to give a padding of 10 pixel from top and left and right 20 pixel so we want to give a background color over here so that we can see it better uh, color is going to be white so as you can see so we wanted to give again a padding oh sorry padding we want to give a border radius why we are giving a border radius 4 pixel so as you can see this is not border we want to give a little bit border over here so border radius 4 pixel let's say now we have border over here but we don't want this choose we want to just make a custom 
uh, upload bar so how can we do this so we have to go to again the form and inside the input we have to just um, type this file or we can use simply a uh, inline uh, CSS to hide this but we want we have only one input right over here as you can see so if we have multiple input we can use uh, class name but we don't have multiple input so we are using directly input over here inside form uh, input this display of none so we have uh, remove our input bar and let's go here and just we wanted to use a label tag over here html5 file and we have to give an id what i mean by this so we are using input as a label because in HTML for it attached with our uh, file. So inside it, we want to create a span tag and upload upload image. And after that, we want to just give an image image inside source, as you can see. But we want to use this image over here that is in the side icon 8com So you can use this. Uh, I like this. I wanted to use this. So right click and if I just right click over here, okay, just close. I don't know that good. right click copy image address and control v inside a project and now if i go to the my browser as you can see it is too big and i don't want this too big but i want to make the 40 percent uh, inside in after form we have a label yeah lab label and label inside we have a span tag and then we have an image wide of 40 pixel so now we don't have center this side we want to center using the label and display flex align item center now they are center but the image is still big i think i have to give a 30 person 30 pixel and we want to give a object fit cover so that it crop the image and make it now we don't have space over here we want to space from both sides so we can use justify content or oh, justify space around okay space around space between still look like same but we want to give a cursor over here when we hover and cursor pointer now span span is going to a color of two 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 oops Four, 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 four. Okay. So suppose if I click over here and click on the image, nothing appear here. So we want to do as if that. So let's start coding and just okay. Now we have created a we have created a state and we want it to just make an on change function inside this input. So we have to create a function over here. handle change now okay it take a event 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 is going to be react dot a change event change event is going to be a generic type of html input element so we are we always wanted to use this html input because this is html input but you can just neglect this but i don't wanna so If I just do console dot log event dot target dot files, you have files. 
I get the file. So that's what we are going to build. So we want to check event dot target dot file. So it might be null. It might be null in the post case. So we want to return this. Return nothing but opposite of not. If there is an event file, we want to return. But if there is event is not null, so we want to set set preview and event dot target the file zero this is going to be event and now why we just give zero because file is an array and we always wanted to use a single image so we have set up our function and we need to call inside our uh, input file so handle so this is not correct as a n d l e as a n d l e handle okay so as a handle, handle change now we have successfully created a function so by this this doesn't work so if i click over here and click over here so we wanted to insert this image over here so we have to go to the form above and create a div over here div div inside image image so we will use the ternary operator so preview if there is preview we will be using if preview equals to equals to null we wanted to return a string if there is no null then we will be using url there is a method url dot uh, create object create object and then we will be using the preview image so this you need to be used so if you are using javascript you don't have to just use this as a null but in typescript you should so if i just click over here and uh, click over here as you can see our image is too big so we have to style this image so we can style this image inside this using the inline css style oh sorry Okay, uh, we want to give a wide of 200 pixel object fit cover and we wanted to give uh, some border radius border radius 4 pixel let's give a try and just click over here and clear the image now as you can see this image is appear here so I want to give you some more white. Let's give 300 pixels. Let's give it a try. So now this is looking great. So if you have any queries regarding this, you can feel free to ask. So there is another method we can use by the help of the file reader. So you can use that. So if you wanted to learn something new, so you can just ask the, in the comment section below. And thanks for the watching and I'll see you next time.